what's up YouTubers? How, how are y'all doing today? Uh, it's been a couple weeks since I made a video. I broke my laptop that I that I make videos on and kind of shut, shut me down for a couple weeks. I had to take it in and get it fixed. I was, there was a hinge that broke on it and apparently they're just plastic hinges so the guy said they break all the time but to be all be honest with you I think I was laying in bed watching YouTube videos and I fell asleep and laid on it so I, I don't think it was the laptop's fault this time so anyway I'm back this is this is my probably my first video I'm gonna post since then I have made a couple of videos since then but I didn't like the way they turned out so we're gonna we're gonna make them again so today we're on a road, we're going from Idaho Falls to a small little place called Bone, Idaho. Um, I said this in my last video that I made that I didn't like, but so this has actually been my second time up here on a motorcycle, but that was my first time and you know, it's kind of pretty up here. It's. Uh, it's a thing here in my backyard and I've just never had a motorcycle on it before. I think my dad's been on it quite a few times, but I don't think I have. I don't know if, if you can see him. I think you can, but there's a lot of windmills up here. Here we get a lot of wind. I remember when they put him in, there was a lot of people that complained about them. They said they were going to take the scenery away and I don't know. I, I think they're kind of cool. I don't think it was a big deal. So today I kind of, what I want to talk about is I want to give some advice to, to some people out there that have never ridden motorcycles before and they want to get into it. The biggest thing I want to say is um, don't, don't, excuse me, don't start with too big of a motorcycle. You know, I, um, I've got a story to tell you. When I was younger, I was probably 22, maybe 23, I don't know, something like that. And we have um, sand dunes around here. They're called the St. Anthony Sand Dunes. And they're, we're, I'm told that they're some of the highest sand dunes around. And at that time in my life, I was, um, I was really into um, going out to the sand dunes and tearing up the sand. Me and my brother would go up there and my cousin would go up and I, um, I don't remember the one I had that time. I think it was a Suzuki 250R. But my point is, is my brother-in-law, he brought one of his friends over one time and um, he wanted to go out and play on the sand dunes too. And he went and bought a dirt bike. And if you can imagine sand with a dirt bike, it's, 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 it's pretty slippery. And um, anyway, um, he started looking around and started looking around and he asked his parents if he could buy one. If I remember right, he had just graduated high school. He was barely 18. And um, his parents actually said no. And, you know, I didn't want to go against what his parents said, but I, I can't stop him either. I mean, the kid was 18. The next thing you know, he shows up at my house with a KX500, which is a really, really big uh, dirt bike. And he said he took it home and his mom and dad got really mad, so he was wondering if he could park it at my house. And I said, yeah, that's fine. And um, I remember thinking that, gosh, you're 500 and you'd never been on a motorcycle before. Anyway, so um, he, he took it out, and the first time he took it out, he ended up breaking a scholar bone with it. And um, he 
park. It, it was out of my house for like a month or so. I don't know. It, it was a little while. And he ended up selling it. And I saw him probably about 10, 10 years later. I think his name was Jake, if I remember right. I could be wrong about that. Anyway, I saw him about 10 years later. And um, I asked him if he ever got back into motorcycle riding. Sorry, I had to fix my screen there. Anyway, I asked him if he ever got back into motorcycle riding, and he says, no, he says, I kind of learned my lesson when I broke my collarbone. And I don't know, I think that that's something that he would have really enjoyed. Um, I think he just bought way, way too big of a bike, and he didn't know how to handle it. So my, my advice to everybody out there would be, make sure you buy the appropriate size of bike. If you've never been on a bike before, then buy a smaller one. There's a lot to learn. Um, my KX500, I think that that was a two-stroke, if I remember right, and it was it's a 500. It was a big bike. Um, another story I got too is this is probably I'm guessing about seven years ago, six years ago. Um, my wife was wanting to buy a motorcycle, and we were in at the Harley Davidson shop one day, and um, one of the salesmen. They, they grabbed her and they stuck her on this bike and it kind of made me mad a little bit but they put her on a, I, it was a big bike, all I remember, remember for sure is, that, is it had the 103 in it and um, they kept saying it, that it doesn't matter what the weight is because with this particular bike all the weight was, was on the bottom and it was really easy to handle. You know, I understand that, but you still got a ton of power there. And anyway, we ended up leaving, and we didn't buy it. We ended up buying her a Kawasaki Vulcan, a 500, which, in my opinion, is a really good bike to learn on. I know it's only a 500, but it's got that sixth gear in it, so it'll do 70 miles an hour just all day long and it doesn't doesn't sound like you're revving it too high or anything so if you wanted to just learn on a bike then that would be one that I would recommend my son had a had a um, a Honda Shadow and it was a 600 and it's a nice bike too his is set up more like a cruiser bike and his is another 100 cc bigger, but he's only got five gears. And my wife's bike, um, she could, like, she, you know, it'll go just as fast as that one will, just because of that six gear. Anyway, I. I usually take my Goldwing up on this road, at least the last time I did. I say that because I'm always riding my Goldwing, but I thought I'd, I'd get the old Harley out and take it up here and listen to the engine for a while. Sure, it's a pretty ride up here. I like all the hills and all the turns, and there's really not that much traffic up here. It, up here, right after Bone, Idaho, it, um, road goes turns into a dirt road and of course I don't take my bikes down a dirt road so it's um school just got in which means it's almost time for spud harvest and I'm not seeing any spud fields up here but which kind of surprises me looks like they're mainly hay and straw But anyway, um, what will happen is the kids, that, well, not all of them, but a lot of the kids that are around these, um, these fields will get out of school for two weeks. And they, they go up and they work for the farmers. And they work 10 or 12 hour days and they can make quite a little bit of money to get them through the winter. It's, they call it the, 
the two weeks bud harvest. I always, my dad was a plumber and I always worked for my dad so I never really did get into it but I know a lot of people that did. It's long hours. I remember they started at like 6 in the morning and quit at like 9 or 10 o'clock at night. Some awfully long hours. It was 6 days a week I remember. Most, I think most all of them would take Sunday off. I'm just kind of curious guys what what kind of bike did you learn on um, I actually had a Suzuki Tempter it's a 650 it was a 1983 if I remember right and I guess there wasn't very many of those made I'd sure love to have mine back now That's my video for, for today. Um, I sure hope you liked it, and if you did, would, would you push the like button, and if you like my content, then subscribe to my channel, and I'm gonna keep doing these videos. I've learned a lot from it, and I'm glad I got my laptop back so I can keep making videos, so. Everybody have a good day, and if you're out on your bikes or going on a bike ride, then I hope you have a good bike ride. I'll talk to you later.